said, if you tripped over your own tongue right now, the way your hair falls, the pertinence between your breathing, and the last time you cried over something more than the ending of a movie, how your mouth does not seek water before you speak because you don't feel your words are alive anymore, how if I died right now, and became casket trash. You would label it as an interesting day instead of changing your life even though you do know how easily good people die. How you look at us through dryness. How you break your eyeballs against the world trying so hard to see the beauty in it. How you stop and breathe. As if something someone said made you go, hmm, just long enough for you to refine your attention span right before drifting off and go thought about how my lungs can carry so much debris and dust from me to cough up this trash with these symbols breathe back into them from the times I too may have cried over something more than the ending of a movie. I like you because you don't know the miracle you are. You don't like turning air into gold and I would cry over you too if that concept was not from the ending of a movie. You are made up of 93% of particles known as stardust and you live under a sun that one day will heat and pressurize itself into a planet-sized diamond, and yet you do not try to touch it, and yet you act like you don't find home more in the mouth of the sky than the mouth of other people. I like you because you know self-control in the way you hurt yourself to make sure others can't. You remind me of the beauty in a pedantic world. You are a rose petal on concrete, the wedding ring at the other end of a kiss for a kid who you thought would have treated you right now three years and three months ago, and most of all, my highness, my leash. And to whom I am forever indebted for this presence, I like you because you don't know how to like yourself sometimes. I saw the way you stopped. As if you thought that this broken open hermit actually had something, anything at all to offer you.